incredible thing to be, be around these athletes in the morning. Thing you see a horse on the track. But the ugliest horse you've ever seen is the best looking thing you've ever seen. But you never know when the next great horse is going to go by. You never know when you're going to see somebody go by in the morning that catches your attention and you, and you go, wow. I love the game. I love the competition. I'm passionate about it. That's what fuels this game. There's hardly a racing day that goes by that you don't see something fascinating. That you don't see something that might be a little unexpected. is exciting for the owners, trainers, and jockeys as it is for the fans. If I ever see anyone pat a horse on the nose, we have got you for life <laughs> because there is no, there's nothing like that personal connection. And if it were as simple as that to keep people coming back, Vice President of Racing Communications at Churchill Downs, John Asher, says they'd have no problem filling the stables and the seats for every meet. But with success comes competition. And Kentucky tracks are forced to work year-round to keep the best fields and purses in the bluegrass. I think what happens here uh, throughout the year is uh, a tremendous benefit not only to the economy of of Kentucky, not only to to the economics of thoroughbred racing, but uh, just for just for the the, the fan support, the, the tourism aspect, everything that goes into making thoroughbred racing an important attraction in Kentucky. I think what we've worked very hard to do is to try to develop a year-round circuit and to try to keep as many horses in Kentucky as we can. That circuit includes racing at Turfway Park from December to March, Keeneland in April and October, Churchill in May, June, September, and November, Kentucky Downs in September, and Ellis Park in July and August. What's really critical, I think, is to have a good summer program, and, and, and Ellis Park has uh, worked hard uh, with some cooperation from other racetracks to try to keep some of those horses here year-round. Dr. David Richardson is one of 15 members appointed by the governor to serve on Kentucky's Horse Racing Commission. He says the convenience of the year-round circuit prevents some of the best horses from leaving despite higher purses elsewhere. It's, it's less expensive, you don't have to ship, it's easier on your help at times. Richardson says those higher purses can be found at tracks in states like California and New York, which are known to offer 90 to $100,000 purses. That's compared to the $30,000 purses for maiden races at Ellis Park and fifty dollars to $60,000 purses at Keeneland. The disparity can be attributed to money earned from casino gambling in other states, something lacking in the Commonwealth. The Churchill Downs and other racetracks in Kentucky first started, uh, first started the effort to... Uh, to, to expand the menu of wagering at our racetracks back in uh, back in the back in the early 1990s. So it's that's that's a battle that's been ongoing for a while. Churchill initially reduced race days by 20% to spread the purse money among fewer races. Kentucky Downs gets by by offering alternative forms of wagering through simulcast and historical racing. To compete with other states that have gaming that are feeding their purses, it's very difficult to compete. Now that we've got an alternative form of revenue, we can compete. Downs owner Corey Johnson believes historical racing will take another 10 to 15 years to reach its peak, but it looks promising. Last September marked a new record for the track with $57.8 million wagered on historical racing in one month. And because the Downs also relies on Kentucky Circuit, it has an interest in keeping other parks afloat like Ellis. In the past two years, Kentucky Downs gave a combined $3 million to boost Ellis Park's purses. And this year, another $2.4 million, which includes funding for four $100,000 turf stakes in August. So we must work together. We must, whenever possible, kind of share our situation, share our revenues. And then everybody's going to be better off.